Are you wondering how to share Facebook posts when the button is missing? Like there's no share button there? Well, there is a workaround. You can still share those posts on Facebook. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how. All right, let's get into it. Hey, busy people. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media. If your business is feeling stuck, with its social media, or maybe you're new to social media, you're in a great place. We help businesses get high quality results from their social media without it taking up all of your valuable time. So if that sounds like something you could use, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to share things on Facebook when the share button isn't there. So sometimes you come across a post on Facebook and you see the like button and the comment button, but there's no share button. Where did it go? Well, that is almost always tied to privacy reasons. For example, this post is set only to show to her friends. So if I were to go and share this post, then only people that we had in common as friends would even get to see it. The share button used to be on everything, but then all of these people were sharing things. And if you didn't have access to it, it would say, you cannot see this content or something like that. So Facebook started taking it off of certain posts. The other type of post you won't see it on is in a private group. So you've got like, comment, and no share button. So here's how you share any post without a share button on Facebook. A couple ways you can do it. One, you can go to the timestamp. So here right here on this post, it says two hours. And I can right click on this in most browsers and I'm gonna copy the link address or if that doesn't work for some reason, you can actually just click on that, and then you can copy the address from the top of the bar here. So once you've got that copied, go somewhere that you wanna post it on Facebook, group, or wherever you want, paste the link in, the post will automatically show up at the bottom. Now, once it populates, the image is there and everything's there, you can delete this. You do not have to keep it there. Your post doesn't have to be all messy. If you just wanna share it without a comment, you can do that. Otherwise, you can say, I love In-N-Out Burger too and then go ahead and hit the post button. And finally, if you wanna maximize the sharing of your posts so lots of people can share them and the share button will be there, then you wanna make sure that it's set to public. So this little drop down here at the top is the privacy settings for each post. And you can do it post by post, but if you want maximum shareability on your Facebook personal profile, make sure that it is set to public. For business pages, it's set to public by default. That's one of my favorite tips to share because once you show somebody, they kinda go, oh man, I wish I'd known that for the last two years. But now you know, thank you for watching the video. All right, you wanna save time on your social media? Grab this, six ways to cut your social media workload in half. You can click the link right there on the screen or if for some reason it doesn't appear on the device you're watching on, grab the link in the description of this video.